Today we're talking about how to become aware of your thoughts in three easy steps. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Karen, I am your certified confidence and money mindset coach. And today I am talking about how to become aware of your thoughts in three easy steps. All right, so I talk a lot about thoughts on this channel. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I believe that it is our thoughts that create our feelings and our feelings that create our actions. And then ultimately that's where we get our results. So basically in a short version, your thoughts are what are creating the results that you have in your life. And if you want a different result, then we gotta take a look at your thoughts. Now, the only way to do that is to become aware of what you're thinking. And I talk about this a lot. I don't think yet I've given a video too in depth about how we become aware of our thoughts. So that's what I really wanted to focus on today is how do we even know what are these thoughts going on in our heads right now? And how do we become aware of them in order to eventually change them? So let's just focus on these in three easy steps. All right, so the very first thing that you need to do in order to recognize what thoughts you're having is you need to do a thought download. What does that even mean? Basically, it just means that whatever topic your brain is thinking about in any given moment that you kind of wanna focus on and see what's really going on inside, right? If you are ruminating about something, if you're overwhelmed about something, if there's something that just keeps coming up and you really want to gain awareness around the thoughts, you're gonna do a thought download. So basically you get out a piece of paper and you just start writing everything that comes into your brain. And you don't stop, you don't allow yourself to stop. Even if you can't think of anything, because sometimes we tell ourselves that, well, there's nothing in my brain. Every time I sit down to try and write something down, the thoughts leave. So you just keep writing, I have no thoughts in my head, I don't know what's going on in my head, and then eventually they will start to flow. And you, you can set a timer for five minutes or one minute, or you can literally just write until the thoughts, you feel like they're all out on paper. This doesn't have to be a journal page that you're gonna to show to other people, especially if it's a topic where it's maybe sensitive. You can show it to other people if you want, especially me as your coach, I would love to take a look at your thoughts and help you recognize what's going on there. Uh, but if it's not something that you feel comfortable showing other people, write it on a scrap of piece of paper that you can later throw away, who cares, right? What we're trying to do here is just to gain awareness because truly we can't change our thoughts and go in a different direction until we know what they are. So, like I said, the very first step is you've got to just write them all out. So take a few minutes and do a thought download, okay? Brain dump is another way of saying it. There's a lot of different ways to look at this, but it's literally just writing, writing them all out. The next thing you are going to do is you're going to take those thoughts, because there's gonna be a lot, and you're gonna take them one at a time. Now, don't get overwhelmed with this step, okay? You don't have to do it all in one day. A lot of times, if you can gain awareness with this next step, with one of the thoughts, it will bring awareness to so many of the others that you won't even have to go through them. Sometimes you will and that's okay, but let me just tell you right now, you don't have to do it all in one day. This is not like a one and done, I did it all today and now I'm perfect and I'm moving on to the rest of my life and everything's great. No, this is like a process that we do throughout our whole lives where we gain awareness over a thought, we're able to work on that thought and change it to something else and then we can work on the next thought, okay? We just take one at a time. So what I want you to do is I want you to choose one of the thoughts that you wrote down and then you're just gonna start asking a lot of questions about it. Like, I wonder why I'm thinking about that. Now, okay, here's another little caveat to this step. I don't want you to judge your thoughts. A lot of times when we start to become aware of what we're thinking, we're like, uh-uh, no, no, but I don't actually wanna think that. I don't want to look at that. I don't want to be that kind of a person who thinks that kind of thing. But the thing is, is you can't change the thought until you have awareness. And if you're completely judging the thoughts that you have, then you'll never be able to change them. You'll push it back down and it will just go back into your subconscious. What we wanna do is bring them to the surface because I want you to understand that if there's nothing wrong with having a thought. It's not bad to have a thought. We have like 65,000 or something thoughts a day just running through our brains all the time. And most of them, I would say, we are not even aware of. That's what this exercise is for, is to become aware of those thoughts that are underneath. And if we 
push them down and judge ourselves for having them, we will never be able to get rid of them or change them, right? So no judgment. You're just going to take a thought and then you just start asking questions. You get really curious. I wonder why I'm having that thought. What is that bringing into my life? Is this true? Why or why not? Right? That's a really good question to ask yourself with any thought. Do I actually believe this thought? Do I think this is true? Why or why not? And then take that even deeper. You can every single thing that you answer to your question, you can ask another question about until you get to the root of it. That's when you get to decide, is this a thought I want to keep or is this something that I want to change? Okay. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is one of my favorite things when it comes to being a life coach is helping people recognize the thoughts that are holding them back. It's so much fun. I love it. Okay. So the last thing you are going to do in this three easy steps is you are going to become a watcher of yourself. This to me is the most fun. What that means is you're going to start paying attention to you. A lot of times we will recognize a thought and we'll be like, nope, I don't want to have that thought anymore. I know it's there. I don't want it anymore. And then you just want to jump into a new thought like, okay, so I'm just going to change it right now. That's not really how it works. Most of the thoughts that we have have been there for a really long time and they're not going to change overnight. So you're going to pay attention to what's coming out of your mouth or what's going on in your head. Now, when you first start doing this and you first become a watcher of yourself, you're probably not going to recognize those thoughts in the moment when they happen. It'll be afterwards. You'll kind of look over your day and you'll be like, oh, I did that again. There it is. Interesting, right? The more you do it after the fact, the easier it's going to be to recognize it when you're in the moment. And then when you start to recognize it in the moment, you can kind of stop yourself and be like, hang on, hang on. This is something that I decided I don't want to think anymore. Maybe now is a good time to try a new thought on. And then you'll start doing that a few times, right? You'll catch yourself in the middle with this new thought and you'll be like, hang on, I used to think that. Now I kind of want to do this instead. And the more you do that, the easier it's going to be to not even have that thought anymore and you can replace it with the new one that you've come up with. This is my favorite thing ever. So let me give you an example. This is uh, me wanting to change one of my own thoughts. And it was really this progression of uh, going from a thought download to asking myself lots of questions to becoming a watcher and then working on something I'm still working on being able to change this thought. So for, I don't even know how long, a very long time in my life, I have said the word crazy as the adjective that describes everything, right? Somebody says, yeah, it was so much fun. We went on this hike and we saw all of these amazing, you know, things out across the horizon. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Well, I could use a different adjective. I could use, oh my gosh, that's so fascinating. Or that's wow, how thrilling that would be, right? There are so many different adjectives that I could use instead of the word crazy. And I decided a while back that I really wanted to become aware of when I was saying the word crazy. I didn't feel like it was a good representation of my thoughts and my words and the kind of person that I wanted to be. I did a thought download and recognized that I was saying it very often. And in my own thoughts, I really was questioning, is this a word that I want to continue saying? I want to show more respect to people with mental illness and I didn't want it to be a part of my life. And I asked myself so many questions about this as, is it true? why or why not, all of these things. And so I decided this is a word I really want to change. So now I'm to the point where I need to become a watcher of myself and look for the times when this thought is coming up and if I'm able to replace it with a new word, right? So I'm in the car with my daughter a couple of weeks ago and we're talking about this, we're having this conversation. And she's like, yeah, I don't want to say that word any longer either. And I uh, were driving through this parking lot, driving home from the grocery store, and we had literally just had this conversation about not wanting to say the word crazy any longer, trying to use different adjectives to explain what's going on, right? And we see someone drive past in this truck and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that truck. Isn't that crazy? And I instantly stop. I'm at the point now where I can 
get to it right after it happens. I'm not quite to the point where I stop beforehand, but I'm right after it happens, I recognize and I go, oh, I just did it again. And she said, just did what? And, and I said, I just said the word crazy. And she goes, I didn't even hear that. I didn't even recognize it. So here's the example of two different places in this thought loop progression, right? I am to the point where I am being a watcher of myself and I can recognize it after the fact. I can take a look back and say, okay, there was one of those times where I didn't wanna say it. I could have come up with a different adjective and yet I didn't and that's okay. I'll try and do better next time or maybe I'll still just keep watching myself. And yet my daughter is at the beginning of this progression where it's not even on her radar yet, right? She didn't even recognize that I had said it, but it's something that she kind of wants to change. So her first steps would be the thought download and then asking the questions, why or not, why not? Why is it important that you change this? Why do you want to? What does it mean if you do? What does it mean if you say it? What does it mean if you don't say it? Like all of these questions that you can ask about this. So I am still in the process of recognizing when I'm saying it, being able to replace it with new thoughts, new adjectives that can describe how I'm actually feeling and thinking towards something or someone else, right? I'm getting better. I'm not perfect at this and it's gonna take a little bit of time and that's okay. I'm okay, I'm all for it as long as I am progressing and evolving to the person that I want to be. And that is my best advice for you is just keep going. It's not gonna happen overnight and that's okay. Progress and evolve to the person that you want to be and just try and do a little better next time. Try and recognize it earlier next time. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, but it is the process of doing that gets you there. You guys are amazing. I hope that this helps. Please leave your comments and your questions in the comments below. And just remember that if you want deeper help with this, if you are looking for a coach and you're like, I don't, I don't really know how to do this thought download. I don't really know how to become a watcher of myself. I've got you. I am so good at taking a look at people's brains and recognizing what thoughts they're having that are holding them back. Let's jump on a free discovery call. You can go to my website right now, karennelsoncoaching.com, and you can set up your free 20 minute discovery call with me. I will help you start to recognize some of your thoughts and get you started on the right foot. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here and I will be back next time with another video. See ya.